In today's video, we're going to talk about how to track behavior flow in GA4. For these purposes, we're going to go into the Explorations tab. And uh, there are two explorations in particular that are suitable for these kind of investigations. We're going to start with uh, the more intuitive one, which is Funnel Exploration. And uh, it's, yeah, well, just like the name says, it tracks the predefined funnel. So, for example, you understand the steps that users usually take when they land on your website. Let's say you have an e-commerce, so, you know, they need to see a product. Then they want to add something to cart, go to the checkout, add payment, shipping, info, etc., etc. Google's predefined funnel exploration is kind of confusing because they already pre-populated steps here with first open visit, then a session start then screen page view and as you see if a first visit is followed by a session start not many abandonments you see just 19 out of 51,000 also a screen in a page view 51,000 again so I advise you either to start from a blank exploration like here or if you already want to go through the funnel make sure to delete the Google predefined steps and let's play. So, for example, we want to say, let's start with all the visitors who visited for the first time our website. And let's say if some of them, for example, started a video. So, we're going to say, okay, about 2.23, not about, but uh, precisely 2.23% of all the visitors actually uh, behaved in this way. And we want to see, okay, how many of those people, for example, within the next, I don't know, 10 days, uh, actually came back to the website. So they needed to have a session start. Okay. 369 people and we apply that funnel we take a look at it here in the, this nice visualization but where the true power comes in you want to look at this particular set of people right click on visualization to interact with the data then you can choose either to view them or create segment from these users and then what's more interesting you can build an audience out of these users and actually have it for example, if you're linked to a Google Ads account, send them straight over there so you can retarget them. Now think about all the ways that you can predict the behavior of users in your website and all the segments that you can create and retarget, especially to those people who performed exact certain activities on your website. That's truly a superpower of GA4. Now I'm not gonna build a segment out of these uh, funnel steps, but instead I'm gonna show you how the path explorations work in GA4. Path explorations are actually more loose than funnel explorations and in order to create them you actually need to click on the template here. I'm not sure whether it's possible even from the blank exploration but never mind you can try it yourself. You see it's already also pre-populated with some events but let's say we want to do something different. Now, the fun part in path explorations is actually here in the graph portion of this report. And uh, I want to show you that these blue bars here are actually clickable. And it took me some time to figure out that uh, by clicking on the blue bar, you actually pick the starting point of your path. So I would say, okay, session start looks nice, but I want to track people who scroll because there's a lot of long form content on DDU website and scroll is actually a nice indicator of an activity of a user or their engagement. So scroll is the first event in this path. And then I want to take a look at the page path and screen class. As I said, the fun part is here. So yeah, we are going to look at all the blog posts that receive the most attention from the people who scroll. So yeah, understanding data streams, Google Analytics filters, analytics, measurement ID, behavior flow. Okay, this sounds interesting. Let's see what people do when they land on this page. Okay, most of them actually proceed to exploration templates. 
there is a link in the blog post to that. But some of them actually go to see how to use funnel analysis in GA4, referral traffic in Google Analytics 4. We have a video on that one as well. If we say, okay, let's understand what event actually dominates on the GA4 behavior flow, you can see that people usually go to page view and session starts is logged again. I don't understand why, but in here you can also say, okay, let's focus, for example, I want to think about only the users who landed on our homepage. So this one is the only one that I care about. And for the starting point, I don't want to go to scrolls. I want to see actually all the session that start on our homepage. Takes some time to load, but we'll see. Uh -huh. I have to reconfigure this again. So I choose, again, I go to the pencil icon, deselect the first five pages, then select our homepage that just happens to be on the sixth place. And I say, okay, where do people go from here? They go to all programs, they go to all resources, blog, etc. Now, if we look at the website, this particular blog post, Behavior Flow Report in GA4, there is a link to the general uh, exploration templates in GA4 blog post, which is why actually people go there. But if we go to the homepage instead, you will see that actually this is the link to all programs, all resources, blog, etc., which is why we're seeing these results here as a next step in the path exploration for the homepage. It's interesting that you can segment these results here, but GA4 currently is not going to allow you to apply more than one segment. So you see if I click, for example, mobile traffic and tablet traffic, it says maximum number of segments applied. But nevertheless, you can turn off one and put on another one. I don't think we're going to see a lot of tablet traffic in the DD website. Yeah, okay. You see the point. And filters are also interesting, but there's a catch. If you choose, let's say, device category, the only filter is going to allow you to apply is if something exactly matches the field here. So we could say, yeah, for example, desktop and apply it. And then you see the session start count drops from 80,000 to 73,000. I hope that you like this video, that you're going to start using number one funnel explorations in your own website and also the path explorations. But more interestingly, I hope that you will put this technique with creating segments and audiences to use so you can export those audiences and retarget people in a very precise and granular manner. If you liked the video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you soon. Bye.